Sometimes I'm asked, what is the most trenchant criticism of intelligent design? That is, somebody will stand up at a talk and say, you know, what is your toughest question that you get? And I hate to be, you know, hate to be like this, but there are no trenchant criticisms of intelligent design. I simply have not received any criticisms, real criticisms, that have made me reconsider how I, I view the complexity of the molecular basis of life. Uh, there are, however, some rhetorical difficulties that anybody arguing for intelligent design faces. And here are, are two of them. Uh, the first one is that it's because the subject matter is, is really pretty difficult. Uh, you have to talk about proteins and regulation and so on. And most people aren't used to thinking about that. Uh, it's easy for somebody who wants to uh, snow the audience to bring in a lot of technical details and say that, oh, we've got this under control. And the public then simply can't judge easily for themselves. And they have to go to the books. Uh, they have to go look up the details of the, of the systems. And um, uh, take my word for it, though, <laughs> whenever I've heard these and I've looked up the details or I, I know from my own experience, None of the criticisms I hear about most often uh, are, are really difficult or, or cause me to reconsider any of my, uh, any of my uh, points. 